So, at 10, for me, Jalen Hurts makes an appearance. And I struggled with this one. I did. Because at first, I thought, does Jalen Hurts deserve to be in there? And I thought to myself, I'm going to put him at 10 for a couple of reasons. Number one, the man's seventh in passing yards. And he's six, uh, six, meaning six TDs on the ground. I think people forget about that. He's been productive with his legs this year. And he's coming off a big win against Miami. Although he threw an interception, and he has to clean that up. He's still top 10 in QBR, and I think overall, as the season picks up, Jalen Hurts is, is going to be just fine. So I wanted him to put I wanted to put him at 10 there uh, over C.J. Stroud. I struggle with that because you guys know how I feel about C.J. Stroud, but I'm going to go ahead and put Hurts there. Herbert at 9, and you're probably thinking, how the hell can Herbert be 9? Well, I'll tell you. Last two games, you know how they ended for the Chargers? How'd they end? Herbert interception against the Cowboys, end of game. Herbert interception against the Chiefs, end of game. Uh, that's why he's nine. He is not playing up to Herbert's standards. He is a terrific quarterback, but at least this season, he has not looked the part. Watching the Chargers, you can blame whoever you want to blame. You want to blame Kellen Moore, Brandon Staley. I, I think Brandon Staley is a a terrible head coach, but regardless, Justin Herbert, the way he's been playing, yeah, the st statistics look great, but the last two games, he's 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 made the play to end the game. Like So he's at nine for me. At eight, Brock Purdy falls down the list. Uh, Brock Purdy... Coming off to, especially last game, it was his only game in his career where he's had more interceptions than touchdowns. But the man still 11 TDs to three picks and still third in QBR. So I, I got to give them more of the whole sample size for the season. I mean, the 49ers scored 30 plus in a majority of their games until the last two, in which they've fallen short. But regardless, Brock Purdy dealing with a concussion right now, I got to give him some love. I think overall, He's looked really, really good. Seven, Trevor Lawrence, my MVP. Does he have a chance to win it? Probably not, but I'm still going to hold on to him. Trevor Lawrence, man, and people, I don't know what it is about the Jaguars, but they start slow. You you, you talk about where they started. Sam, they were one and two. Yeah. And then they won four straight. You know what Trevor Lawrence's statistics in that stretch are? He's five touchdowns to zero interceptions. With so virtually he, no Calvin Ridley, too. And Calvin Ridley, for whatever reason, has not been Calvin Ridley. So... For Trevor Lawrence, four straight wins, five touchdown passes, one pick. He's cleaned it up, and the Jags are winning. He's seventh. Six to me, Jared Goff. He he was the best NFC quarterback to me until this past week. I mean, it, again, it is what it is. Quarterbacks are going to have a bad game, but you, the way the offense played against the Ravens, you didn't get a first down to late in the ball in the first quarter, excuse me. And that's not all on Goff, but at the end of the day, he is the quarterback. The blame does fall on his shoulders. He didn't have a touchdown pass, and you know that offense was horrific. So Jared after a bad game, bumps down the list to six.